Hello, during the previous video I described the simplest finite element method for solving the Poisson equation using linear finite elements. If we were to solve the equations of atmosphere and ocean motion using this method, using the same basis functions for pressure and for velocity, it would be the finite element equivalent of an Arakawa A grid. You have learned that there are serious problems with the Arakawa A grid, with spurious grid scale oscillations remaining fixed. They don't propagate. The same occurs if linear finite elements are used. Therefore, mixed finite elements can be used for solving the equations of atmospheric and oceanic motion. Uh, we're not going to study these in detail. I'm simply going to say that different basis functions are chosen for pressure and for velocity, so that grid scale oscillations in one variable correctly influence the other variable. And grid scale waves are not stationary, but propagate, as we would expect. Uh, this is the finite element equivalent of a C grid. The simplest mixed finite elements are described by Ravier and Thomas, and called Ravier Thomas elements. So to end, I'd like to say thank you for watching these videos on numerical modelling. Before the lecture, have a very quick look at the problems at the end of the lecture notes, uh, and you'll be able to work on these during class. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you.